this is where the main issue was used. Yeah. 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 We've got alternative plans. And that's why they're looking at the alternative plans itself. And hopefully, you have the vision of how you want this to work. And I'll pass you on to uh, Ian. Mm, thank you. Yeah. The main problem that we found for people <coughs> was obviously traffic. And after looking at this, and we've all been around the table, we thought that a bypass would possibly be the answer around the town. I think it had been talked about possibly years ago. There's a JCB factory was built there, and we thought it would be possible to get some uh, support off JCB to put the bypass in so instead of having to come through the town. The main town, they come from the factory, and obviously the main town there is congested. We've only got a one way system straight through the high street, and we come down the town there, and the only way to get out from that end is down through the town. If you want to go to Blythe Bridge of the Potteries that way, the only way is straight through the town and round that way. So we've had a look at the bypass there and we've thought about another little road that will relieve the traffic coming down there. On the social housing side, we've got houses that was planned for that area, the north side of the Cheel. And now, after having a look at this, we thought it would be possibly better there. This area here has got no infrastructure at all. All the roads are like B roads, and it was proposed that the council put 400 houses there. Well, 400 houses there would be absolute chaos coming into you. It couldn't sustain it at all. And with all the schools being at the south end, everybody from there, where they put the 400 houses, obviously they'd have to come down through the town to the schools. The schools, hospital, all down there. So we've relocated the houses there. Whether they'll have that or not, I don't know. But we, we, we put them there anyway. <laughs> and um, tourism. Uh, we're in a big tourism area. We've just had the, um, we've got the plans for the, uh, the Cheney Valley tourism where, we, where they're hoping to put the new train lines in. And Cheney was going to be one of the main entrances to that valley. But if people come into that area, there's nowhere to stay. We've had a look at it and uh, we obviously need yes, bed and breakfast basically, but obviously we need uh, possibly an hotel, not, uh, 
not a five star hotel, but something like a Premier Inn or something like that, so people will stop for a couple of nights and then filter into the town and use the town and start buying in the town. That's, that's the main thing we're after, people to come in the, into the town and spend the money so as we can generate some economy in the town. Uh, design. As to design, after, we, after listening to all the talks we've had here, obviously we, when this localism bill comes in, we're going to have a bit more input in the design of what, what everybody's telling us that we've got to have them there and we've got to have this there. And we say we've got a police station that's been plonked in the middle of the town, which goes against everybody's design, I think, when you look at it, if you don't know, we've got a picture of it there. So I'm glad that we've got this localism bill, and I think it will give all the communities a lot more input than what they have been placed on them. Um, I think it's going to be a good thing. Thank you.